Hey guys, Ben here with Vance Outdoors, and today we have another video on the new Hobie lineup that we have at the Hebron store. This boat in particular is the Hobie Outback. It is the next step down from the Pro Angler. It's kind of that perfect boat for, um, you know, you can fish in a creek with this, you can get into really skinny, shallow water. Uh, you can also take this out in the ocean if you want to. So Hobie designed this kayak specifically to be there all around, um, do everything, anything and everything boat. Uh, a lot of guys fish, like I said, offshore, uh, Australia, a lot of guys use these out in the ocean and they, they fish for these giant, like fish that are bigger than this boat. Uh, so if you can get out in the ocean in this thing, you can take it anywhere. Um, uh, we're just gonna go over the features and we're gonna show you some of the stuff that you can do with the storage. Um, show you about the, uh, the paddle storage and everything. We're just gonna go front to back and cover all the details. So first off up here, We've got a carry handle. Um, it's on some, some cordage there and it's got a nice T handle. So you can you and a buddy can carry it or if you have the cart that's stowed here, you can you know flip this cart and that's your front handle you can use to move the boat around and position it where you know down to the water. Uh, so that's your front carry handle there. And like the Pro Angler, this has a front hatch. Um, some some storage on the inside here. Um, unlike the Pro Angler, this does not have a insert, a tub, but they do make one that you can purchase. We can get that for you if you're interested in putting a tub in here. Um, but there's a ton of storage space in here without it, uh, with or without it's it's a it's a nice hall storage area there. And just in front of this storage compartment, there is a a spot here where you can put the bimini that we sell so it's like a sunshade uh, and with they also they're compatible with the sail so if you just want to cruise and not really fish it's a it's a cool option to add and that's available on this boat as well moving just back from that they have two spots here in the in the boat to store rods so um, you know you're landing a fish you can set that fishing rod in there and deal with your fish and then pick it back up where you left off. Also, while we're talking about rod storage, they have two more in the back here as well. So they've got four that come with the boat. And like with the Pro Angler that we talked about last video, we sell the H crate. So you can put an H crate back here and put rod storage on that as well. We also sell the Yak Attack Black Pack Pro. Um, you can put that back there as well. Um, and with the bungee system back here, you can move it around and there are tie down spots where you can strap those down so you don't lose them if you did happen to roll this boat over. Um, it's probably not gonna happen unless you really do something crazy because these are pretty stable platforms you can stand up on this boat. Um, so you don't really need to worry about that flipping over, but just in case if you hit a wave or something, wake, um, it's possible. So strap all that stuff down so you don't lose it. Um, back up here to the to the drive and this one it's the Mirage 180 so um, this one's a little bit different it just goes forward and reverse no 360 drive here um, it's controlled by you've got these cable poles here where you can flip the drive back and forth yank on it and it spins that drive forward and reverse and then you just pedal like normal and you get your you get your flutter there of your pedal drive now, uh, to remove this drive, it's a little bit different than the, um, the Pro Angler 360. There are two levers here. You pull those back towards you and you grab the drive by the pedals and just pull it straight up out. It's very easy to, to pull out. And again, like in the last video, um, Hobie suggests that you line these up to notch number four when you insert and remove the drive. So when we drop it back in, it's all set up for you. You just wanna line up the, the pegs there, drop it in and it locks in, and that thing's not coming out. It's, it's locked in pretty good. Uh, while we're talking about the drive, the adjustment on this for your pedal length is on the top here, just by the pedals. So you depress this button on the top, and then there's an arrow down here that lines up your position and it locks in. So if you have short legs, you can move it back towards the seat if your legs are a little bit longer, you can move it all the way out. Um, it's fully adjustable. 
This, just like the 360 drive, has the kick up fins, so these will break away and kick up if you did happen to hit some kind of stump or a rock or whatever. So moving back a little bit, we have H-Rail in this system. And with this Outback, you can move stuff around. So they have four of these sections in the boat. There are two in the back, two in the front. This H-Rail uh, can be actually moved back here to the back. So if you want H-Rail on the back, and you want to give yourself a little bit more foot room up here because this does make it kind of narrow. If you take these out, you're going to have more room up front. Not necessary, but you can do it. It's uh, fully adjustable however you want it to be. Um, a cool thing about the H-Rail system on this, they have a bungee containment system that will hold tackle boxes in. So again, if you were happen to roll this boat, um, these bungees will keep your tackle box stowed away and tight. It's just got the bungee and it locks into the H-Rail, goes down the track and the thing's not coming out of there. There's two on each side. So if you wanted to, you can lock this thing up extra tight and that's really not gonna go anywhere at all. So while we're at it, we also have um, bungees here for pliers, uh, snips, whatever you wanna put in fish grips. Uh, and then there are spots here where you can actually drop those in and they will, um, your grips and tools, pliers, whatever you need, knives. They have a uh, slot here to put a knife in uh, that will stay stowed in there as well. And they also have these rubber, um, it's like a soft plastic storage little bin there. So you can put a couple packs of soft plastics in there, uh, the ones that you're using right away and you just, drop those back in and they'll stay stowed away. Uh, before we move back too much further, just like the Pro Angler, this has a rudder control so you can lock your rudder up. Uh, you just wanna pull back on that, it's the same way, it locks it up. So if you know you're in skinny water, you can pull that up if you're drifting, whatever. Same way to drop it back down, you just wanna pull towards the opposite side of the boat and that will release it from the cleat there and drop your rudder back down. This also has the transducer feature that will hide away your transducer if you have a fish finder mounted to this boat. Uh, same thing, pull it straight back. It'll pull your transducer up out, you know, from the bottom of the boat to keep it clear from any damage. Uh, moving back just a little bit, there is another storage compartment here right in front of you. So you can store your phone, wallet. It's waterproof. It's got a seal across, you know, across in here. So that's watertight and there's a um, there's actually a bin in here and you can you can access your haul from there as well so put whatever you want in here they also make other things you can drop in here uh, different types of storage but yeah like I said it's got all the stuff you need there to put your wallet phone keys whatever you want uh, they also have a couple pads here so when you stand up it's comfortable for you, won't get as hot as the plastic. Uh, pretty nice setup. So uh, back just a little bit more. As you can see, the paddle is strapped to the side of the boat. That's, that's how they store the paddle system on this Outback. Uh, there is one on each side. So if you're left-handed or right-handed, you can uh, you know put the paddle on either side. You don't want that paddle on the same side that you're landing fish on. You might get tangled up, so you want to be able to move it either side. Same thing for the cup holders, there are two. One on this side, one on this side. Uh, they make it, this whole boat's pretty much ambidextrous. It's a, it's a nice little rig. Um, into the ambidextrous thing, they've got, they've got rudder control for right and left-handed, so you can control it on either side. There's a little storage container here, just, just behind the seat where you can put, you know, whatever. Uh, pliers, knife, whatever, snips. Uh, so now we're gonna talk about the Vantage CTW. Um, this is a, just like the Pro Angler, it's adjustable. There are a bunch of different positions for it. Right now, where it sits, it's the highest position. So there is a little rip cord here that will adjust your kickstand in the back. And then there's another strap here that will adjust your height in the front up and down. So right now we're gonna move it into 
the medium position here and then we're going to pull out away with this strap and while you're you know you want to you want to take your weight off when you're doing this because you might damage the mechanism here but essentially you just pull that and you put a little pressure down and it will adjust it and lock into the next position so that's like your medium position there if you really want to get super low you pull your your kickstand again and it will drop it even lower and then it also has an adjustable back system here. So you lean forward and you pull on this and it adjusts your the back of your seat. And again, just to adjust that out, you pull up, lean back, and you can adjust where your recline is on your seat. Another cool thing with this one, uh, this seat actually comes out and it becomes a lawn chair. So that's pretty unique. Um, you just wanna fold it forward and you unclip your safety clip here in the back and you want to lean forward and pull it out and then there are four legs here on the bottom that will go into these little pegs right there and then you can set it on the ground and it just becomes a little lawn chair for the camp if you're camping out uh, just like the the other vantage system you want to lean this forward and then roll it into position and that locks it into place there in the front. So then to lift it all the way up, we're all the way up in the back, and you wanna pull on your strap again here in the front, and lift the seat all the way up, and now we're in that high position again. So, moving back a little bit, we have the cart here that's stowed away, like if you, if you don't wanna leave it somewhere, you can put the cart in to get it down to the water, and then put it on top to uh, stow it while you're fishing or while you're out on the river just floating around. Uh, back into the back again, we've got storage. You can put a cooler, you can put the live well that Hobie sells, age crate, yak attack crate, whatever you wanna put back here, it's fully adjustable however you need it to be. And there's a bunch of different places where you can strap that down and keep it secure. Um, back just a little bit from that we have your rudder access here where you can change your tension and uh, mess with your rudder if you need to and then all the way in the back there's a little tiny h-rail section just for a carry handle if you don't have the cart and a buddy and you want to tote this thing down to the water they also have an accessory in here in the hull that we didn't cover that is used to help you get it up on your car or your truck so this clips into the H-rail and then it saves your rudder from getting nicked or scratched up. So when you lift up on the front of the boat, this keeps the back of the boat from hitting the ground, gravel, whatever. Um, just a little thing there to keep your boat from getting nicked up while you're loading it up. Like the Pro-Angler, we have this boat in several different colors here at Hebron. Uh, stop by and check these out. We're really excited to have Hobie. We're excited to be a Hobie dealer. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, go ahead and go over to the channel and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you're notified when we release new videos on the Hobies and the other kayaks we have in stock here. Uh, if you're not following us on all the social media platforms, go ahead and follow all those. We'd really appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and we'll see you on the next one.